Sustainability is not a static way of being. It's how we start. Start to understand that the ecological, social, and economic challenges we face are complex and interconnected. And that by embracing these complexities, we can make the world a better place. At PSU, we believe that our students, faculty, and staff will help to create that better place through innovative and adaptive design, research, and solutions. When we say we have a culture of sustainability on campus, it means that our people and underlying operational structures are here to enable and support one another. It means that we empower students to take what they learn and make a difference in their community. It means that faculty, staff, and students are collaborators in a living lab. The world faces enormous challenges, and there's so much work to be done to create a healthy and just future. Sustainability at PSU is a community, a network, and a framework for working together. Let's create the future we want to inhabit. Greetings, everyone. Interim President Stephen Percy here today. So happy to welcome you and open up the 13th annual PSU Sustainability Celebration. I'm sitting here in my backyard enjoying the greenery in typical Portland fashion. It's raining a bit, but an umbrella is protecting me, so we'll see how long that lasts. You know, sustainability is such an important part of Portland State. It's part of our tradition, it's part of our roots, it's part of our customs, it's part of our practice, it's part of our lives. And we're so happy to have this opportunity to enjoy and celebrate and appreciate the work we do in sustainability and all that it means in the lives of people in communities and regions and states and even nationally. We help build communities, we strengthen environments, and we ensure that people have resilient and healthy futures. That's our commitment and that's our work. And I'm so happy to be part of that and so happy to celebrate that today. So there are many people here today to tell you about what's, what the works we've been doing and what we're proud of and where we're gonna be going. So let's turn it over to the next speaker. Welcome everyone, enjoy sustainability. Hi, I'm Jenny McNamara, Campus Sustainability Director here at PSU. I'm here to share the recipients of this year's Excellence in Sustainability Awards. PSU is dedicated to collaborative learning, innovative research, sustainability, and community engagement. The Excellence in Sustainability Awards acknowledge the outstanding contributions of individuals who support this mission. This year we had nearly 30 nominations, illustrating the vast network of sustainability engagement at PSU. Let's take a minute to celebrate these individuals and their meaningful contributions. First up is the Excellence in Sustainability Research Award, which recognizes a PSU faculty member accelerating the pursuit of socially, environmentally, and economically sustainable society. This year's award goes to Jola Ajibade, Assistant Professor of Geography. Jola's research includes both local and international projects on urban resilience planning and climate change. Recognized as transdisciplinary collaborator, Jola's work and expertise has been featured in several academic publications and in mainstream news outlets, including the New York Times and OPB. Congratulations, Jola. Next, I'm excited to recognize PSU faculty members who inspire students to embrace sustainability inside and outside the classroom with the Excellence in Sustainability Teaching Award. We are honored to recognize architecture co-teachers Clive Knights and Travis Bell, whose design studio course has engaged students in the creation, building, and deconstruction of the Pickathon tree line stage for several years running. With the philosophy of use but not use up, students have brought to life new uses for common industrial materials in this course. Congratulations to Clive and Travis. The Inspiring Student Award recognizes students who push the boundaries of sustainability and inspire others in the process. We have two Inspiring Student Award recipients. Michelle Bates has been committed to sustainability work for years, including through her role as an officer for the PSU Environmental Club leading PSU Earth Day events, a recent divestment project, and community events off campus. Michelle's nominators describe her as an inspiring partner and collaborator. Congratulations, Michelle. Our second inspiring student award recipient is Leah Moss Novak. As garden coordinator with the Student Sustainability Center, Leah has been a steward for natural spaces on campus and has helped bring hundreds of volunteers to the PSU Community Orchard for educational and service events. Leah was described as embodying sustainability and permaculture in her work, 
and as a leader capable of navigating large systems. Congratulations, Leia. Next, the Excellence in Promoting Campus Sustainability Award recognizes a PSU staff member who accelerates sustainability on campus and in the world. This year's award recipient has exponential impact. For many years, Mary Vance has designed, launched, and supported programs and advising resources to provide students with sustainability learning, network, and career advancing opportunities, such as internships, professional mentorship, and more. Mary is a sustainability steward in PSU's Career Center and has inspired countless students and alumni in their PSU journeys and beyond. Congratulations, Mary, and thank you for many years of service to PSU students. Finally, I am excited to close our 2020 Excellence in Sustainability Awards with a special Sustainability Legacy Award. This year's award goes to Heather Spaulding. After a decade of launching, growing, and institutionalizing the Student Sustainability Center, Heather departed from PSU this spring to pursue a new career in Washington. Her contributions to student success, sustainability leadership development, and engagement will impact PSU long after her departure and for many years to come. We can't thank you enough for your service to PSU and wish you the very best on your next journey. Congratulations, Heather. Please join me in congratulating this year's award winners. You can learn more about the 2020 Excellence and Sustainability Award winners online and through social media in the coming days. At this time, I'm excited to share our annual slideshow highlighting sustainability achievements from the past year.
Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us for this virtual celebration of sustainability at PSU. It was a great event. My name is Fletcher Bedoin, and I'm the director of PSU's Institute for Sustainable Solutions. Each celebration is a beautiful snapshot of the year, boiled into a little bit of time together to connect, share, and inspire each other. We've had some beautiful and productive years, and we've had some frustrating and hard ones. But we've always, always come together with the same spirit in mind, to learn, to connect, and to keep each other going. I appreciate the tone in Steve's opening remarks and the support and guidance they offer. They provide a clear sense of hope as we look forward to next year. The COVID crisis has physically pulled us apart, but having this remote celebration shows that the work continues even in the pandemic. We're continuing in the present so that we can continue momentum, but we also need to learn and let this experience change us. We need each other more than ever if we're going to realize the future we want for our neighborhoods, our region, our state, and our world. We need to be supportive, but also push each other to grow. We need to celebrate our victories, but also begin to plan for what is next. And in the end, we always need to be there for each other when things get hard. I'm so proud to be part of this community and wish you the best as we look into next year. To close out this year's celebration, I'd like to invite you all to join us in sharing your sustainable solutions that you're seeing in your community right now. Make a post or share a video. You can find us on Facebook and on Instagram at Sustainable PDX. And to kick it off, I want to provide my response. And the sustainable solution that is inspiring me right now is kids riding bikes through neighborhoods, and specifically teaching my four-year-old daughter how to ride her bike. During this time, we've seen less and less cars in our neighborhood and it makes it more possible to get out. And so each, each evening, my daughter and I get out for a bike ride, and I'm always surprised by how many people are out there cheering her on. It's something I look forward to every single day, uh, and something that will endure beyond this pandemic. Thank you again for watching today and all you do to make this a sustainable and resilient world. Oh, hey there, PSU. Hope you're all doing well. We know that the world has changed and a lot of us are staying close to home right now, but I know that we can continue to work towards a sustainable future. So remember, when it doubt, throw it out. Today, we are valuing things differently and being more sustainable in many ways, changing our way of consumption, being more respectful with one another and buying local. These small steps could be the global change we need. I've been inspired by hyperlocality, so people getting involved in gardening, in chickens, raising their own food, um, baking bread at home, and local bike shops having lots of business, people riding their bikes and running around their own neighborhoods. Here at PSU, I have been inspired by the creative and adaptive approach to the way we teach, learn, and operate in the face of uncertainty. We have found ways to stay in touch, continue critical functions, and maintain a supportive learning environment, all while staying home and protecting community health. Keep up the great work, PSU, and thank you. Every day I'm inspired by the joy, resiliency, and hope of the PSU community. Our commitment to sustainability and our commitment to supporting one another is truly inspiring and grounding during this hard time. Every day I'm so inspired to see how my Portland and PSU community are coming together to help each other out, providing resources, and making sure that everyone's okay. Keep checking in on your friends, families, and loved ones, and we'll get through this together. Stay strong, Portland. We got this. I'm inspired by all the people who are committed to rebuilding better once the threat of the virus is gone. I've seen all kinds of messages in places like yard signs, social media, even major news outlets that are encouraging us to think about what a new normal could be that's more economically just and environmentally sensitive, and that makes me hopeful for the future. I found inspiration in my own community through sidewalk chalk messages, signs on the street, and other artistic displays of support and hope. Neighbors are finding ways to stay connected, checking in with one another, offering to do supply runs, and making sure our emotional needs are met just as much as our physical ones. I'm feeling a lot of gratitude for that right now. Hi, everyone. I hope everyone's doing well and surviving the remote teaching. I wanted to quickly chime in and say that sometimes doing the sustainable thing means you have to get down and dirty. So if you're stuck at home, think about doing some gardening. It's good for the environment and it's good for your soul. And if you don't have space to set up garden beds, 
pots and planters work really well. Be safe, everyone.